Hello and welcome to Channel's Book Club. My name is Olakunle Kasumo and it's great to be on the show again. Now today is special because it's all about children, young people. Now we're all worried about Nigeria. For the past 62 years, Nigeria has not realized her potential. We are worried about corruption, poor infrastructure, um, country in a mess, blah, blah, blah. so many things a lot of us, a lot of people are not happy about in Nigeria. But if we want to fix Nigeria, we need to begin to think about our young people. We need to begin to invest in preparing the future generation of leaders. It's very important. If we don't do that, then... We are the most foolish of all, and I'm sure we are not. So we better sit up and start investing into our children who will be the leaders of tomorrow. Now, today is all about children, like I said, and this brilliant woman. She's a speaker, she's a trainer, she's a role model, and she's a successful professional. Odwayo Sonia has written this book titled Alphabets of Leadership for Young Minds fantastic book for young people and she joined a group of children at an event organized by Latana bookshop for children to celebrate the last children's day and she read from this book now before we go into the report on that event let me read something she wrote in this book and get you thinking as it got me thinking if everyone is born with an essentially similar brain, I don't believe we all have the same brain, with more or less the same potential for achieving greatness, everybody has a potential to achieve greatness, why is it then that only a limited number of people seem to truly realize their full potential and excel in life? In a practical sense, she wrote, this is the most important question for every individual to answer. Wow, thought provoking. The future of our nation and the world depends on the next generation of leaders. For the younger, genera for the younger generation, pardon me, to realize their full potential as leaders, we must prepare and develop them early. Hmm. So if we are thinking about Nigeria, the next 62 years, or we've done 62 already. This is the 63rd year. We need to begin to prepare the next generation of leaders. And that's what people like Odoan, Yosonia, and Latana, and the rest of them are doing, getting our young people, our children together, and planting, sowing those seeds in their hearts. Enjoy this report. Pupils and teachers are present to participate in a special book reading session organized by Latana Books to mark Nigeria's Children's Day, which holds on May 27th of every year. Before the highlights of the gathering, pupils are taken on a bookstore tour. After the tour, the children settle in to listen to the guest author, Odoa Yosoya, as she reads and discusses her book, Alphabets of Leadership for Young Minds. Someone should just hazard a, an alphabet. It's about you today. Yes. Your name? Chuba. Chu Chuba. Chuba. Okay. Letter C. Letter C. Wow. Chuba starts with C, right? Awesome. Courageous Chuba. Okay. So C. Letter C is courage. And it starts with 
with a quote, and it says, courage is the music that turns dreams into reality. Courage is the music that turns dreams into reality. The, uh, the quote is from Aster and Richard Abend, and it starts with a story. I'm going to ask questions, so please pay attention. If a story started as a young boy, his biggest fear in life was fear itself. Not fear of the dark or real things, but the fear of day-to-day -day living, fear of taking a leap, even across a narrow gutter, fear of attempting anything at all, because he was always afraid of the what if. So if he, was, if he held himself back because he was afraid, he kept saying, what if it didn't go well? What if it didn't work well? He had so much fear and he missed out on so many opportunities to excel. He was also often afraid that he would always feel this way, scared and feeling lonely. It seemed impossible to him that he could ever change mainly because anxious thoughts were all he had ever known. The older Efe grew, the more fearful Efe became. He was timid and fretful through elementary and high school, through university and even when he started work. However, one day, Efe had had enough after he was fired. Now, if he had grown, if he lived his childhood always guessing, thinking he wasn't good enough, thinking things wouldn't turn out well, what if, what if? And so, even if he wanted to answer a question, he wouldn't raise his hand. Even if he had a strong, good you know, perspective on something, he wouldn't speak up. And he got used to that, and he lived in that fear. Even as an adult, he lived in the fear and got fired you know, from a job he really loved because he lacked the confidence and courage to face his bosses, to make a presentation that he was supposed to make. This really upset him, and it's, it gave birth to a desire in him to change. Remember if he was now grown up. He did not know how he would change, but he knew there had to be a way to do it. Now, if his ultimate fear now became leaving the rest of his life in fear, as he realized fear also has a companion called failure. So the fear, listen, the fear of living in fear became his greatest motivation for him to change. He told himself that he had just two options. He can choose to be fearful forever, or he can choose to work against his fear. Now, he made the choice to work against his fear. Living in fear for over 20 years had done enough damage to his life. He was determined, and so he found the courage to face everything he had been afraid of before, not minding that he might even appear stupid in front of people. He started taking a chance on more productive activities, things that he always wanted to do but had been too afraid because he was consumed with what if. If he found courage by facing his fears head on, he, become, he began making time to learn, to develop and hone his skills. He was very skillful, very brilliant, but fear kept you know, him in the dark. It was tough initially. People doubted him and laughed at him. Even his friends laughed at him. But he found the courage to laugh at himself. You know, when things didn't go well, he would laugh at himself instead of taking it too seriously. And he would determine to do it in a better you know, way. He eventually became recognized and respected for his work. After more than 20 years of living in fear, if he finally changed his outcome to one of stunning success in his industry and he found courage to make his dreams a reality. If a story brings us to the leadership alphabet, C, which is courage. The people speak about the lessons from the reading session. I think that we should always be courageous and we should not be afraid to stand up when you have a good idea. I learned that not always to stay in your safe spot like I did when I was playing piano. 
while countering the saying that Africans don't read, Nigerian children here speak on their favorite books and why they read. Um, usually I read because it's, in, it's usually interesting and it's another way to entertain yourself other than like watching. Reading gives me more information and inspires me to write my own book. Well, my favorite books are usually who are or who is. Like for who is William Shakespeare? Who is Gandhi? What was the Ice Age and where is the Bermuda Triangle? I don't time myself by reading because I think reading is just something enjoyable for me. One of the teachers here speaks on how she encourages her pupils' reading habits. Encouraged them to read because while we were growing up, we always hear that leaders are leaders. I mean, readers are leaders of tomorrow. And when you read, you have um, you have a vast knowledge of information. You get to develop your vocabularies, and we also encourage them, particularly the um, dictionary in our school. We have what we call reading club, so we teach them how to use their right diction, how to look for new words. When they get come across any new word, they read. It builds their vocabulary, it gives them more information, that's just it. A popular here reads from the book Alphabets of Leadership for Young Minds. My name is Tualolu Wafalonikwe, pupil of Angus Academy, and I'm going to be reading from the book Alphabet of Leadership for Young Minds, letter I, Integrity. Integrity is knowing when to walk away from an opportunity because it is not in alignment with your core values. It is being consistent in character when everyone is watching and when nobody is watching. Integrity always begs the question, if nobody is watching, what will you do? Will this be different from what you would do if all eyes were on you? Beyond morality, integrity, integrity is delivering 100% all the time. It is not delivering 100% on Monday and 30% on Tuesday, 100% all the time. It is making sure that the quality of your output is unquestionable and that your word is your bond. The pupils thereafter visit the various book stands in the store to pick new books they would like to read. One of the organizers speaks on the motive behind the reading session. It's an annual event for us. You know, amongst other events that we celebrate here, we also have the book, uh, World Book Day event, the summer book reading sections and all of that. But for this um, year's Children's Day, we, have, we just feel like, um, you know, encouraging children to read, you know, encouraging um, good reading habits in children. The special Children's Day reading session is an attempt to catch them young and inspire a reading culture. Small seeds being sown in the hearts of those children and hopefully they will germinate and become very important for us in the future. We need to keep sowing those seeds in the hearts of our children. We need to keep investing in preparing young people of today for leadership roles tomorrow. That's what people like Odwan Yosonya, Latana, and the rest of them are doing, and we need to keep doing that. Well, up next is another young person, this time a 14-year-old teenager who has written a brilliant book. It was a pleasure and a delight to look into her book, go through her book, 
and then speak to her. Enjoy this conversation with Harmony Bangu.